Sorry about that. I was waiting for the very large school bus to pass in the background. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, I forgot to... I grabbed the wrong shoes, and now I don't have my house shoes on. You know, the comfy girl need to have your house shoes on at all times. My feet easily get cold. I have, like, the worst circulation imaginable. And my feet get very cold very quickly. Today has been a day. Um... I'm not going to go into details, but I'm sure you guys saw me trying to test um, something earlier today. I was trying to see if I could stream uh, my drawing software onto anything with YouTube. And, uh, spoiler alert, I can't. So, I'm gonna have to find some way to do that at some point. There are a lot of other ideas that we have sort of floating around. Um, I'm not quite sure how to execute them at the moment, but, uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, as they say. Um, I know I seem a little drawn and tired. Uh, that's because I am. I'm very tired. Uh, I woke up at about 3 a.m. and I didn't get back to sleep till about 7 a.m. And, uh, I slept till about 10 which, uh, was contestable at best. <laughs> but y'all don't want to hear me complain. I'm sure you also don't want to hear me just talk into the void. But, you know, there's really nothing else we can do these days. Uh, but yeah, today has kind of been a day. We're all a little, just a little bit stressed. Um, I can't promise that I will be here for long today. Especially with the way the wind's been blowing. Um, contrary to popular opinion, it is not the storm that takes our power out around here. More often than not, it's the wind. Which is surprising because we live in the East Coast. But let me do one more thing. Now that we're here. I forgot to alert the lovelies. All right, now that is enough of me chattering. Let's go back to where we last left off, and that is at the save point. So in our last episode, Asbel, a 12-year-old rebel without a purpose, or what do they say, rebel without a cause, um, befriended the prince, and the prince, um, let me see if I can find a way to rephrase that. Asbel, resident 12-year-old rebel without a cause, um, befriended the prince, along with a couple of his, uh, with, along with his little brother and a couple of friends. And after a rather harrowing experience on the cliff, on the cliff outside of his home, uh, promised essentially that he would pledge himself to uh, be a knight eventually. I'm doing a terrible job of, uh, I'm doing a terrible job of relating this. Um, all you need to know is that as far as Asbel is concerned, he got a friend of his killed his brother has been sent away, and he pretty much left his other friend, Sharia, alone back home. And he went off to go be a knight, essentially. Now, his father, who had shown himself to be a hard ass in every sense of the word, um, doesn't quite make sense that he didn't go to the knight academy and drag him back, kicking and screaming, but, you know, we all need a plot hook, so. Let's go ahead. Just FYI, I still have no game audio. Seven years later, so he was 12, he's now, what, 19, 20? 
No, he's 19, Richard is 20. Right. He will survive. Fucking martial arts. I love that. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. So the goal is to do these, these, and then. Let's keep moving. So, okay. Um, <laughs> no, because we're gonna we're gonna stay here for a little while. We're not gonna go into the cutscene because I want to talk about the designs in this game. I love this game. I do. I really like this game, even though it is my least favorite Tales game. But one of the things that has always been true for Tales games is that if you think Genshin Impact characters are overdesigned, Tales characters are overdesigned. There is no reason for Asbel's outfit to look like this. Like, people will look at Kingdom Hearts and say, oh, you don't know, need so many belts, zippers, or plaid. Um, how many belts does Asbel have? I count one, two, three on each arm. Um, then his belt, I... I like Asbel, I do, I... But his and Sharia's design, we'll see Sharia in about an hour here. Um, it's just a lot, <laughs> okay? It's a lot. <laughs> and it honestly, legitimately took me by surprise after playing Tales of Exilia 2. there's Captain Daddy. By far well the most Asbel. normal design of this game. I see my game. worries about your first field mission were completely unfounded. Sir, my success is due to your superior instruction. You don't have to be so formal. Just keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. Sir. Hey, movie All geek. Right. Glad you're here, bud. Let's go over the mission briefing one more time. We are here to investigate Orlan, a village located on the far side of the forest. It has a population of about 50, give or take, mostly employed in forestry. A few days ago, the Royal Knights received word that the residents of Orlan had suddenly vanished without a trace. <sighs> Our mission is to meet the knights investigating the area and provide them with whatever assistance they require. Understood, sir. It's an unusual mission. Keep your guard up and be prepared for anything. This concludes the briefing. We've finally met Captain Daddy. Um, I say that. I say that Captain Malik is Daddy, but here's the thing. I think he's maybe, maybe 32 years old. I'm pretty sure Captain Malik is younger than me. Actually, let me check. Captain Malik, Tales of Graces. Hang on, let me see how old he is. Okay, he's 40, never mind. He's older than me. I want to give you something. Oh, the Elith Mixer. I duh. It's an Elith Mixer. We have some real battles ahead of us. I so usually, I'm not going to lie, I'm more often than not use the Elith Mixer to mix grape again, gels. Just in case. Grape gels yes, and life bottles. That's pretty much all I use it for. Um. Oh, so we just have the rice ball. Life bottle. Ugh, okay, good lord. Traveling, product. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now let's try removing the apple gel. Don't worry, boys. Well, okay. I could have just said that I understand. Elf mixer is not. I know about the elf mixer. That's it. Now let's return to the. Okay, so what the elf mixer does is essentially. It gives you the ability to generate items that you might need. And so, 
when you generate a rice ball, it gives you it, uh, as far as it increases your strength a little bit. Yeah, that was where I got the rice balls. I was confused last episode. So we're just gonna... Remember wow. Yeah, see, it's it's so much easier to use Asbel now. <laughs> as a kid, he was it, as a kid he was very ungainly and awkward. Also, I will say, Captain Malik's weapon doesn't make any sense. It's... It's a, a sword that's supposed to be a boomerang. And it's not shaped like a boomerang at all, it's just a boomerang-shaped sword. I'm not done yet! You know, I understand that the models are stylistic, but one of the things about, like, the early Tales of models is that their heads are so big. <laughs> their heads are so big, especially Asbel's. Like, Asbel's and Pascal's head, compared to the rest of their body, looks so, like, ungainly. <laughs> It will take more than that to stand in our way. Let's get this underway. Wow, wow, okay, damn. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. I love how Malik just stayed back, like, okay, clearly he's getting eaten alive. Let's just. Let's get this underway. Uh, I cannot do Mystic Arts right now, unfortunately. Hmm? Did we get carried away? And to be fair, I'm not very good at doing. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm not very good at doing the, uh... Oh, wow, we're killing a family right now. This was just, like, a humble little dog family defending their den. And we just, like, rolled Let's up on them. Moving. They had a baby with them. Salesperson has their priorities in order. No, we are not gonna sell those. I didn't need to go to sell. Uh, holy bottle. Those will be very, very important. Um, holy bottles will be very, very important in the future. Um, I can usually go without the panacea bottles, uh, depending, like, for every Tales game, but. The, uh, the holy bottles, they keep monsters from coming near you, and if you're trying to explore late game dungeons and all the, with all the, I'll be honest, insipid little puzzles, <laughs> um, Then having the not bad, don't you think? Yeah, the holy bottles are just really easy to are really nice to have when you're trying to get around all of the oh, oops. Hold on. Yes, sir? These are merino flowers. 
Combine them with water of absolution, and you have the raw ingredients for a holy bottle. Wait here a minute. I've studied for seven years, and I still didn't know that. Asbel's confidence has suffered Am greatly really in the last couple of years. What's on your mind? Nothing, sir. It's just you're so knowledgeable about everything, and it makes me That's doubt myself. It's not a compliment, myself. Asbel. Knowledge for its own sake is meaningless. But this is information that can help you to protect yourself and others when you become a knight. Remember it. Sir. See, that shows that Malik is a good teacher. I can't lose. And that Asbel really looks up to him. So, you know, if he's perceived to have done something wrong, Asbel would be really heartbroken. This is what happens when you misjudge your foe. So, the last couple of years have definitely humbled Asbel. We always put them back. Because we'll always need them. Now, does this help my sense of direction? And do, and because the treasure chests are closed, do I normally lose my way? The answer is yes. I've never played this, so I'm guessing he ends up doing something wrong. Uh... We're gonna go ahead and say yes. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and say yes, but it's a little more complicated than that. It's an honor to have you here, sir. What have you learned? Early reports on the missing villagers appear to be true. I we found no trace of them. It looks like there was a fire. So it does. A bad one from the state of things. Thank you, Captain Any Malik. connection between the fire and the missing villagers? We're looking into that right now. If you could lend a hand, it would be much appreciated. You heard them, Asbel. Yes, sir. Is this the cadet we've been hearing about, Captain Malik? This is Asbel Locke. It's a cadet we've been hearing about? Why do mission. they get, why do we get these uniforms an and he gets that sick ass jacket? Alright, let's get started. First we'll split up and take a look around the village. If you find anything, let me know ASAP. Yes, sir. I was saying earlier, I don't know if you were here for it, Movie Geek, that uh Asbel's design is not my favorite. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, this sounds awful, but um, as a matter of fact, his outfit looks better on a different character from another game. <laughs> so, uh, his outfit... Uh, his outfit comes as DLC, if I recall correctly, for Tales of Exilia. And uh, his outfit looks really, really good on the female protagonist. Wouldn't be a Tales game without a burned out village with no one there for no reason. What's that? shouldn't call the captain until now where did it go yeah that's the, uh, that's where it is although captain mallet clearly saw that <laughs> was that a dog <laughs> or maybe a wolf If they saw him darting back and forth. Okay. Wow. 
I can't oh yeah, that's right. It. I don't have Nova Arts yet. I'm not about to lose here. Huh? It worked. All right. Yeah, by the way, in these games, you could really just stop and change your loadout at any time. Mid battle, mid cutscene, anytime, anywhere, you can change your loadout. So, lightning strike. Actually, it would be really useful to put lightning. Actually, yeah, it would be really useful. Okay, Shockwave slash. And then we don't need another demon thing. We really don't. But yeah, every time you see Nova, it means it can hurt the red glowing monsters. For plot reasons. <laughs> and then he immediately gets slapped for it. So, like that. Okay, beating it up, beating it up, beating it up. Okay. Oh my god, this battle is difficult when you can't spam healing. Oh, wait, you want to see something cool? Let me see, uh... Oh, can you not do it on this gate? Can you not do it in this game? So... <laughs> something that you can do in some Tales games is make the game fight for you. What? Uh, let's see, semi-auto, manual, auto. So I'm not touching the controller at all right now. The game is literally playing itself for me. And to be honest, he's doing just as good as I was. <laughs> yeah, so this is just the AI playing the game for me, essentially. I can pause at any time and have them heal themselves. But the game can play itself. I remember, so I was going through a pretty stressful time when I played Tales of Berseria. I had a falling out with an important family member. And I remember just playing the game. You're getting low, okay. I remember just playing the game and uh, just leaving all of the battles on auto, regardless of whether it was a boss battle, regardless of whether it was a monster battle or just like a regular encounter. I just made the game play itself for me. Because I was tired, okay? I was stressed, but I wanted to play the game. I finally beat him. But what was that light from my hand? When I first played the game, I actually what immediately lost thing? to this thing. Because I didn't understand the instructions. Did you slay this beast? Yes, sir. It attacked None of y'all heard me fighting? So None of y'all heard me myself. yelling? There was a literal lightning strike. There were several, Captain, actually. Do you think this creature is responsible for the missing villagers? It's certainly possible. I found evidence of wild animal attacks while I was exploring the village. This thing could have been part of a larger group, but we'll need more info to be sure. Sorry, didn't mean to hit my, uh, microphone there. You have our gratitude, Captain. I think we can take it the rest of the way. Understood. Asbel, we're done here. Thank you for your assistance, Asbel Lant. Of course, sir. I'm glad I was able to help. Indeed. Your efforts may have unlocked the core of this little mystery. Thanks. Captain Malik has chosen well. I look forward to having you in our ranks. Now, now, this boy is no knight. <laughs> Humble him real quick, yes. Uh, forgive me, sir. You're a lucky man to be trained by the captain himself. Do not waste the opportunity. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the advice. This ends your first field mission. Let's be on our way back to the capital. 
So Asbel did finally get a legit decent father figure. Wait, did they spell that wrong? Oh, I've never seen it's like. I thought it was about I thought ilk was spelled incorrectly and I was like, "Excuse me?" But when it comes to this Tales game, you will never find a more protagonisty protagonist than Asbel Lant, and maybe Yuri Lowell. Yuri Lowell does, to an extent, have some protagonist syndrome, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to Vesperia. All right, we'll head back the way we came. You take the lead. Uh, yes, sir. Asbel, I was glad for an opportunity to see your true prowess, but I must admit, I was surprised at what I witnessed. Uh, surprise, sir? <laughs> that monster was ready to destroy you. But I love how Asbel suddenly... just lets the imposter well, syndrome I'm, sink I'm in. I'm not sure what you did. Why have you kept this ability hidden? It's nothing I've tried to hide, Captain. In truth, I'm not sure how I beat the thing. You could be ready for real action now. I might even have to challenge you to spar one of these days. Did the Captain just... Praise me? Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Out of here. I try to save at every save point. I'm trying to be... Yep, told you. We need the apple gels again. Take two and discard the rest. Slowest jump I've ever seen. It's a day at JRPG dungeon jump. You can't do it without special hands. We won't fail. Some of the group victory quotes are better, especially when Sharia gets involved. Stand in our way. Sorry if you hear my furious clicking. I still have no game audio, so it's all I hear. I think the mission went well, but how are you feeling? Clearly, you have some imposter syndrome. I feel great, it. sir. In fact, I'd like to take the lead until we return to the Academy. It's good to see such motivation. But before you can lead, you'll need this map. Thank you, Captain Malik. The road leads straight there, so I doubt you'll get lost. But it's good to have just in case. Now be aware of yourself, and don't let your guard down until we reach Barona. The monsters on this road have been... Yes, sir! So Asbel is a lot, uh, calmer and uh, more respectful than he was when he was a kid. He listens more, he takes people's opinions, and he almost seems a bit, uh... Stingard, a bit less confident. He actually worries about how he's perceived now. Not bad, don't you think? Which, I mean, is natural when you get older, but it's very significant for somebody like Asbel. Excuse me, sir. 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 Not bad, don't you think? It's still really hard to pull off combos in this game sometimes. So, I try to talk to everyone, because sometimes they just give you stuff. Yeah. 
This area hasn't changed much either. If you don't mind me asking, Captain, who are those knights back in Orlin? Former students. I can tell they really trust and admire you. Forgive me for asking, sir, but why did you become an instructor? Surely you'd see more action if you served in the field. The other knights were more capable. But Captain, you're an exceptional knight. I can't imagine anyone being better than you. Flattery will get you everywhere, Asbel. But let's just say the others have a certain something. Foreshadowing. Right? It's hmm. almost like he's done something bad. I if I had that certain something to become a knight. <laughs> Anyways. No, I don't need that. Uh, let's see. Let's get this underway. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Move. It will take more than that to stand in So our way. it's not exactly super easy to do combos in the Tales of Graces system. It is in a lot of other later, um, a lot of other later uh, installments, especially when it comes to. Um, Tales of Arise. Now, I know that Tales of Arise is the most recent game, but the combos are so much easier to pull off. They're really clunky. Unfortunately, they're really clunky in Tales of Mysteria. Let's rest here for a bit. Yes, sir. We've been walking for less than an hour. Seeing country like this makes you realize just how blessed Windor truly I do love is. These master cutscenes. Remind me, Asbel, when did you enter the Knight Academy? It's been almost seven years now, sir. <laughs> it all passes so quickly. It's been my honor to learn from you during this time, Captain. You're the son of a lord, yes? Will you ever return home and reclaim the family name? Well... I ask because I'm ready to recommend you as a full-fledged knight. Uh, really? In truth, my word is a mere formality. If the life of a knight is your wish, your acceptance is almost certain. You're really you're good at what you do. You still lack experience, but this mission has convinced me that you're ready enough to take the next step. Thank you, sir. Will I get to keep my sick-ass coat, a sir? to be made in haste, Asbel. Perhaps you should consult with your parents first. That won't be necessary, Captain. I am prepared to devote my life to the Knights. Very well. If that is your wish. It is. You know, I never played the PS2 version of this game, but I can Finally, tell which my which cutscenes were. Come true. Uh, I can tell which cutscenes were we added back, later. <laughs> make a little detour to mark the occasion. I assume you're familiar with tactics, right? It's your favorite pub, sir. Even a knight needs to unwind now and again. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you, Captain. I must say, Windor is such a beautiful country. But unfortunately, the wars never end. Where did that come from? When I was young and naive, I came here with a group of very close friends. One of them stood right here and told me all about how he wanted to create a world without conflict. Huh. And he's like, wow, just I'm not sure if that sounds like someone I know. Count. At that moment, I believed I actually had the power to make his dream come true. That's what everyone thinks when they're young. But something happened soon afterward. Something that made me realize what a pathetic child I actually was. I see. And I assume that's when you decided to enlist in the Knight Academy. Yes, sir. So you can assume that Asbel hasn't spoken to Richard since. Hi. Yes, I do. Let's 
Excuse me. Game on. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not over the game audio, but there is the, uh, the storm no stand before my There's blade. not even a storm. It's bright and sunny. The weather is beautiful, but the wind is constant. Wind advisory for the last three days. I made a watch. Again, this is the southeast. That is very unusual. Did we get carried away? I really don't feel like coming out for. But here's another one. Game on. And it's another family! God damn it! It's like just the right time for Asbel to go sick but away. nasty wild. Just start jump kicking the piglet. Let's get this underway. That was hardly worth So the question is, blade. what did he tell the Knight Academy? Because I'll be honest, he sure didn't realize how school worked sitting at the front of the steps and yelling into the open doorway instead of just going to the front desk. <laughs> Because if you go into the Knights Academy, there is a front desk! <laughs> if I recall correctly, there is a front desk. There is an admissions office. Imagine just sitting in the front of a college and just being like, Hey! My name is TK Cannon! I want a- I- I want an education here! Some ice cream. I have to admit, they sell the best ice pops at this place. I can't stop thinking about the way my hand shimmered back in the Orlean Woods. <laughs> As well, there? you might want to worry. I might want to be concerned when I had about the those mood swings. Hey, your ice pops melting. Uh, what? Crap! What a waste. That's a tough break. Oh, look! I got a wind stick! Hey, shopkeeper! I'll take another! Uh, hmm? Stand down, Asbel. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> Understood. Uh, I love that. Oh, is he gonna give me his? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> Give it a fish! Give all the cats fish! Every time you find a cat in this game, every time you find a cat in this game, you give him fish. That is one universal constant across, like, a bunch of countries that I love, and that is, like, the ice pop economy. <laughs> every, every country, or every state or country I hear were like, because you hear about this all the time in Mexico, like the gelato shops in Mexico, or um, or especially in Brazil. I know here there's a place called the here there's a place called the King of Pops, where if you get the wind stick, you get a second. That was just a second. This is just a second. You just get a second, um...
Oh, by the way, this is a character from Tale of the Symphonia. Oh, there's no skip? Okay. Yeah, the one international constant. Is that there's always a win stick? Is there there's always a chance to get a free one? See, there's an admissions office. There's an admissions office here. <laughs> like, why are you yelling at the front of the school? This is the front office. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Bye, Victoria. I'm gonna kill you later. That's not a spoiler, okay? <laughs> I swear. Further right now. Uh, where am I going? Right, to the bar. Yeah. I'm gonna go get drunk with my professor, which I mean isn't too far away from actual college. Asbel is over the drinking age. Promotion and the start of a long and glorious career. May the wind guide our blades. May the wind guide our blades. May your heart be your guiding key. Thank you, Captain. I hope to continue training under you even after I become a knight. Relax, Asbel. This is a celebration. This is a poor translation tomorrow, of that take phrase, care of itself. But... That's neither here nor there. Being a knight is all I ever wanted. I need it, Captain. I need to be strong. Nothing good can come from haste, Asbel. When I left home, I swore to become strong. I swore I would never again fail to protect someone. So when I'm not training or fighting, I feel like I'm... Wasting time. And that will not go away as you become an adult, so... Others, eh? It's a noble goal. And if becoming a knight helps you achieve it, then so much the better. But there are some things even a knight cannot protect. You would do well to remember that. Understood, it's almost like sir. he's speaking from personal right, experience. This is your celebration, so eat up. Yes, sir. Whew! Thanks for the meal, Captain. But I can't eat another bite. Good. Now well, maybe next time we'll celebrate your entry into adulthood with my favorite cocktail. Come. We should return <laughs> to the Night Academy. <laughs> maybe I'll take you out to get a shot of warm whiskey. Foreshadowing. VIP, although that definitely looks like RIP. It's foreshadowing. Aha! Mojikun. I believe, if I recall correctly, you give that 
to a little girl much later in the game. Yep, return to the Night Academy. And there's someone, if I recall correctly, waiting in front of the Night Academy. Yep, there she is! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Things are about to get messy. I haven't seen you in seven years. What are you doing here? When did you arrive? Why did you always stand like she has to pee? A little while ago. Like, I know it's supposed to be you feminine, but me. really she just looks like I she needs to pee. I picked you up. Didn't you get the letter? Letter? Your mother sent you a letter begging you to come home. Oh. Well, I was on a mission. I haven't been here for a while. Wait a minute. Did something happen? Lord Aston passed away. <gasps> what? You mean to tell me that my father is gone? What are you talking about? <laughs> what happened? Calm down, <laughs> Calm yourself, young man. <laughs> You're sure, I don't right? need you grabbing sure a young girl <laughs> in front of this office. Me. Asbel, pull yourself together, all right? My father... The phrase, pull yourself together, is so much more comforting in Japanese than it is in English. Because in, in Japanese, pull yourself together is kind of like, uh, hey, I know you're the falling apart, let's, you know. Has turned desperate. Like, father is having difficulty coping with the situation. I got you, hold yourself together. Please come home before the fighting takes an even more serious turn. I had no idea things were so bad. We waited to hear from you, but then Lord Aston perished in battle. With Lady Carrie bedridden from exhaustion and grief, it fell to me to track you down. Which is Captain bullshit, Garrett, by the way. Sharia should not have had to do that. For the knights. Will you hear it? Lot humbly requests the assistance of His Majesty's Royal Knights in her struggle against tyranny. The domains of Windor hold great autonomy compared to other nations. They're independent states, in all but name. This makes it difficult for the Knights to intervene in disputes. I see the right of your cause, but things may be difficult. My grandfather said much the same thing. It seems we can only pray the dispute does not escalate into all-out war. I will speak with the other Knights, but I make no guarantees. This is a matter most grave, and perhaps they'll feel differently upon hearing the full story. We are in your debt, Captain. Asbel? Sir? I trust you to be the Knight's eyes and ears in this matter. Return to your home and assess the situation. We need to understand what's really happening. You'll also want to pay respects to your father and look in on Lady Carey. She needs you now more than ever. Go to her and give her what comfort you can. If there's any to give, Understood. Aston Lant kind of sucks. I sucked. must return to Lant as well. Then you and Asbel should travel together. Send word if you need any assistance, and I'll let you know if I learn anything on my side as well. <sighs> was Victoria there the whole time? She was just like, Hey yo, what's up? Uh, R.I.P. to Lord Aston, but I'm different. No, I guess she wasn't. I guess she wasn't here for that whole conversation. Now, granted... Okay, there we go. She said something else. Now, granted, this is her office. Oh, I don't have the password yet. I forgot. Um... So I guess she is just here, and... Because this is Malik's desk. <laughs> That's Malik's desk. This is her desk. <laughs>
instructor is. We'll go over there later. If I recall correctly, that is a bonus battle with a character from Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, order ship. So, <laughs> I'm about to tell you guys something stupid. Um, so, I told you guys, over COVID isolation, I wrote a very long Tales of, uh, Tales of series crossover uh, that was like 20 chapters long, very, very long, like a whole novel length. And that was over the course of COVID isolation. And it started off with a murder. And they, it started off with a murder, and uh, the murder was hers, was Victoria, was Major Victoria's. Like I said, the, 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 the fan fiction itself wasn't just blind smut, okay? Aha! See? Treasure slot senses are always on point. I don't know why there's pie crust all the way out here on the dock, but we're just gonna go with it. Pie crust, you know, the infamously hearty pie crust is one of the most delicate pastries you will ever use. Let's save because there's a big cutscene. Things get awkward between Asbel and Sharia. Um, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go back to off on the auto advance text. I don't like the pauses. And I don't like talking over people too much. I would at least like to stop where it, I at least like to stop and talk so I'm not keeping you guys from hearing what's going on. Especially if you haven't seen the game before. I think anyone will be streaming this game. This is my very first Tales game. Despite my complaints, it's still great in my eyes. Yes! Yes it is, Ray! I totally agree! Like, I do have some- I do have some beef with the game, that is true, but I- I think it's still a fantastic game. I feel like I do, though, Anderson. I feel like I do. <laughs> That's the thing! I feel like I do! Even if- even if this- e sometimes, you know, there's still just like the old confidence telling me that I talk too much. And I- I do talk a lot. <laughs> Once we reach land, I'll look into hiring a turtle's transport. You must be exhausted after so much travel. He's trying so hard to be so helpful because he still thinks of her as the girl he left behind, and she's not having it. Thank you, but I'm fine, really. But what about your illness? It's gone. It disappeared seven years ago, just after... after everything happened. Now I'm stronger than almost everyone I know. Seven years. Maybe Sophie is watching over us somehow. I'm glad you're better, Sharia. Thanks. Me too. God, it's a painful conversation, even without the game audio. But yeah, I'll be honest. As far as love of Tales games go, I love them all. Even Tales of Exilia, even Tales of Exilia Two, especially Tales of Exilia Two. Um. Even Tales of Zestiria. And yes, I know Tales of Zestiria is the Final Fantasy 13 of the Tales of series. I don't care. I still love it. 
me see. Are you guys gonna give me stuff? Yeah, I just- I- I love Luger. <laughs> Luger's my favorite. <laughs> I, I know, I know, people don't have a lot of love for silent protagonists, and you know what? I get it. I get it. But I, <laughs> I adore him. I think he's great. And you know, for a ch for a tag along child character, L isn't that bad. Girl, the. I mean, y'all are sleeping in two separate beds at this point. Like. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's time to pack it in. Like, you, you don't have any children. I come in here, I hear the mountain goat start playing. It's fine. I'm gonna rob you. Um, there's nothing here. Okay. Close that. Oh, I can't close it. What about this one? Oh, there's nothing in there either. <laughs> She's wised up. <laughs> Let me see the cast after three time years skip was cool, and the battle system's upgraded. I love the element of this thing. Same. I like to go out and hunt for Kriya's... I can tell it's old people then go buy candy! <laughs> uh. Yeah, she just found some rice! Thanks. Yeah, see, they do give you things sometimes, so you do kind of have to talk to everybody. It's kind of like Final Fantasy X, in a way, where they want to make sure that you interact with NPCs. That is something that I don't really like from modern games, where they don't- you don't have any incentive to talk to NPCs, and they don't really say anything different. And I know why that went out of style. I do. Um... Because... <sighs> sometimes- because sometimes you just can't afford all that. I'll just be honest. It gets more and more expensive. No, I already got this discovery. I don't need to be here. Um... But yeah, I kind of miss that. NPC talking is so boring. I, I like it. it. Makes the world feel alive. And like there's actually people in it. I hate games where only the protagonist's problems matter. That's why I like, uh... If I could get past the fight- If I could get past the battle system, I'd play Tales of- Not Tales. I'd play Xenoblade Chronicles, but I'm so bad at the battle system. Oh, the turtles battle- <laughs> the turtles battle in Tells of Hysteria did Luger and Julius so dirty. <laughs> they did them so dirty. Uh, do I have this one? I don't. Uh, never mind, I do. She didn't give me beef this time. Pity. I'm going on now. Let's do this. I hate doing this by myself. Oh wait. I still have it on auto. <laughs> My bad. I was wondering why I was so weird. I was wondering why the controls were so weird. I was it's fighting for me, I'm not doing anything. Nope. Nope. You know, despite my love for this game, I'm not afraid of it. Let's keep moving. I turn Luger into turtles for the Zestiria for the Zest for the boss battle. <laughs> so I don't know it existed. I it <laughs> Yes. Yes they did. They absolutely did. Um We'll uh we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I do plan on playing Tell the Zestiria. Um Tell the Zestiria will be coming after Exilia 2 though. Um, I'll be playing these in order of release, so... Let's do this! 
Chickens. Okay. I already have to deal with chickens enough in my real life. Okay. No one can stand before my blade. Whoops. Oh, I forgot about the ice pop. Whoops. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. more of this. <laughs> God, I know this feeling, though. Having to talk to the friend that left town and just being so mad, but also being really depressed at the same time. Sherry, oh, thank you for the follow, right? <laughs> thank you for the subscription. You little... Will survive. <laughs> Maybe I should put the game on auto again. Oops. Sorry, that was a fat finger. That was not on purpose. Okay. Oh god. Please get out of my way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Yeah, I played What was that? Okay, well let's what? let's I'll, I'll talk hand? about that once we finish this cutscene. I don't know. It just started happening recently. You were hurt. Oh, this? It's nothing. I'm fine. You won't be fine if it gets infected. Give it here. <laughs> Sherry's outfit, man. It makes no sense to me. What the? Sharia? You can do it too? Yeah, it just started happening recently. The doctor thinks that incident seven years ago might have unlocked some kind of unknown power. An unknown power? You know, with Sharia's design, it yeah. feels like they're just okay. trying to have their Kate. Do these two kiss? Uh, no, but you do see their children in the future. Uh, thanks. Uh, one thing you'll learn about Tales games, um, even characters that canonically fall in love never kiss. And if they do, it's at the very end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny to see little Sherry all grown up and healing people's wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Asbel, you don't need to say that. She's gonna kick your ass. Remember that time I hurt my hand and you tried to bandage it up with a big old sock? She's 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 Good she's times. gonna hit you. <laughs> it's been a long time, Asbel. People change. Also, I can fight for myself now. You don't have to say. Uh, once again, I don't have anymore. game audio, so I apologize if I do cut them off. Let's go. <laughs> she said, I don't, I don't care. I don't feel like reminiscing. I'm still mad. God, I know that feeling. So, this is gonna this is gonna sound like a non sequitur, but I swear it has a point. Um, have you guys ever heard that song, Hotline Bling, by Drake? That song used to make me so angry, because back when I was about... I was about 24, 25 years old when an old boyfriend of mine um, left town. And we were really, really close, and he left town very suddenly to, like, find himself or whatever. 
and I was, I was like really deeply hurt because he just dipped one day, and like we 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 were really close friends, and then he came he uh, he came back to visit uh, the Christmas the year after, and he was like, yeah, I heard that you were like you know. Uh, dating other people, and like, you, you decided to go back to school, what's with that? You know, I was really disappointed that you didn't wait, I was like, YOU LEFT TOWN! What do you mean you're disappointed that I left? That you were disappointed that I didn't wait? You didn't tell me you were leaving! Hey, remember that guy at the- Sorry, I know I got really shrieky there, but- <laughs> well, he gave me permission to graduate. How wonderful for you. Um, She's not having thanks. it. Yeah, this is exactly how but it feels. If I'm not mistaken, wouldn't the King's Knight have to stay in the capital? No, because I'm still technically a student. And besides, the captain wants my report on the situation in Laund. I see. So you'll return to the capital when the matter is settled? Yeah, but I'll be in Laund for a while yet. I'm worried about my mother. Then I guess we should get moving. Uh... She's so mad, and I don't freaking blame her. But I was talking about Sharia's design, where her cl she is cute, but they really tried to go for something like... I don't want to use the word hyper-feminine, because I don't think that's the right word to use, but they did kind of want to see if they could sneak in a little Lolita there, which is fine, but why didn't they just go all the way? I guess they wanted to seem like she could still maneuver in it, but... You, you wouldn't be able to maneuver in that, as someone who used to wear miniskirts on a daily basis. <laughs> um, it's very hard to move in those, yeah. Like, they tried to sneak in some Lolita there. I'm wondering, like, they kind of went okay, all the way with Shio, right? But that's not how it is a crime. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I was just talking about this when I started the stream, but his his outfit looks better on another character. Like, looks better on a different character that's not him. His outfit looks better on someone else. <laughs> I I don't know if I still have access to the DLC for Asbel's outfit on Mila, but she looks really good in it. Um, that's the only thing though. <laughs> I, yeah, I've, I've, ne I've never been a huge fan of Asbel's outfit. Um... <laughs> I probably lost DLC too. Yeah, that's the thing about those outfit DLCs, you lose... You lose access to them so easily. And like, I think, I'm pretty sure I lost the, um... The school, the school DLC. I lost access to the school DLC with Tales of Arise, and that game didn't come out too long ago. And I had Luger's outfit on Rokuro for, uh, for Tales of Berseria. And last time I played that game, I did not have it, and I didn't know how to redownload it because it wasn't available in my shop. Sony, like, steal my money. Okay, let's keep moving. You know, back when I had money to spend on other than wedding planning. <sighs> but yeah, to finish out that story, um, me and that guy, we'll just call him Manuel, to protect the innocent. Um, did you load up uh, Versaria on the PS5? No, only on the PS4. I only very recently got my PS4. Um... But yeah, we'll call him Manuel to protect the innocent, but, um, because if someone were to listen back to this, they'd know exactly who I was- if someone I know were to talk, like, were to hear me, they would know who I was talking about. But, um, yeah, eventually I left town. <laughs> it was my turn to leave town. And then about a year after I left town and moved up here, I met the man who would eventually be my husband. And he's in the other room. Okay, right let's now. do this, Eddie. Probably playing Minecraft. Or held by this Or probably working. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. Uh, 
Alright. Here's another- here's yet another scene in the humiliation conga for poor Asbel. talk shit about Mr. Habercorn later. He's a great voice actor, but yeah, this is one of his very first roles, and it's not... Bailey. You can tell that it's one of his very first roles. It's a little... It, he, he has openly admitted several times that this role was very awkward for him because he had little to no voice direction. Sharia, come quickly. Which is very different from all of the other voice actors in this game who said that they had a lot. <laughs> Frederick has been captured by the Fendulian army. Grandpa, no! Those curs have launched a full-scale invasion. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure this is one of his first video game roles. Because this was Please all the way me. back. I was with Frederick at because the time, this was voiced was in the PS2 era, at first. When we are finished, I am prepared to accept full punishment for this failure. But first, we must attempt to rescue Frederick. So yeah, that was around the Frank, first Persona 4. Where did you see him? Near the main skirmish between the Border Fortress and Lont Hill. Actually, let me double check that. I want to make right, sure I'm not just... I'll leave it once. ...accidentally lying to you. I'm coming too. <laughs> Sherry is so mad! <laughs> I'm coming too! She's like, what the fuck did you just say? Upset. We can't let those Fendolian brutes take Frederick. Come on. Uh, it, Tales of Graces. The original Tales of Graces came out in 2009, I believe. Uh. Da, 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 da. Ba, da, da, da. Yeah, came out in 2009. Uh, that should be through North Lont, so we're just gonna race there. I'm not really gonna be too specific about it. Yep. Thank you, chicken. Asbel speaks chicken. But realistically, genuinely, truly, to the bottom of my heart, I'm sick of chickens. Doing some prize kills as usual, yeah. So, I had a really awkward moment with Todd, ha with Todd Habercorn at uh, Anime Weekend Atlanta, like, okay, almost seven years ago at this point, where I was talking about, <clears throat> I was, this is when I was first teasing the idea of being a voice actor, and I still don't quite know what I'm doing as far as that goes, because I still need some expensive dental surgery, but, um... <laughs> I was basically asking the guy who played Jet in Cowboy Bebop, uh, like, how he got started. You know, he's also black, and I was like, you know, we were just honestly Victory shooting the shit ours. at that point. And <laughs> Todd Habercorn, like, proceeds to explain how essentially his dad got him his first job. <laughs> and he essentially... Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, being a voice actor is fun. Okay, you just need to get lucky, essentially. And he didn't realize that he kind of misspoke until um, the guy that I was speaking to kind of nudged him a little. Like, bro, that's not... <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if you're joking, but no. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting surrounded. Sherry, heal me, please. It was, it was a bit of an awkward moment, but <laughs> I just think he was trying to join the conversation and kind of didn't know what else to say. My computer's backing up. Give me a second. Sorry, my antivirus software just decided to run out of nowhere and now I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but it, it was an awkward moment. I believe it was off of it was right off of uh, Danganronpa, if I recall correctly. 
right off of his role in Danganronpa 2, if I recall. Are we going straight here or are we going to the hill? I don't remember. Head to the North Border Fortress, yeah. Game on! I still say Todd Haverhorn probably didn't get as, uh... <laughs> didn't get as big of a break as Travis William did, where he essentially kind of went out on a limb for Full Metal Alchemist, and for Roy from Full Metal Alchemist and ended up getting the part. Alright, dang. This, this is unfair. This is unfair. Stop! Stop! Although, you know what I love Travis Willingham in? I loved Travis Willingham as uh, Gaius from Tales of Agilia 2. I adored him as Gaius. Still one of my favorite Tales of Antagonists. I don't care what they did with him in Tales of Exilia 2. I loved King Gaius. There is actually a teeny bitty part of me that hopes to uh, see him be... Uh, Baby Phantoms from the Gargoyle Theater. Yeah. He has to play Gaius in one, right? Yes! He played Gaius in one, but... Tell <laughs> tells me Julia too, I didn't play him first. It's a long story. I was working at GameStop at the time, and... Um, my boss was like, You really, like... I had two jobs. I was a cook somewhere, I was a cook at a hotel, and I was also working at GameStop. And... He was like, you know, you really should just take your t take some time and buy yourself something nice. And he was like, we have tons of games on sale. Just like, relax a bit. You look like you're driving yourself crazy. And I was like, I am, actually. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, he ended up uh, he ended up just suggesting one of the games at the time that was uh, like was 19.99, and he ended up I ended up being able to buy it for like five bucks. Man, man, I, I wonder what Zavhurt's, uh, Zavhurt's uniforms are metaphors for. I, I wonder. I, I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> Is one the metaphor for the Cold War? We'll see. Oh, hi! Stab me in the gut. Let's keep moving. But yeah, the uh, uh, Fendel is definitely supposed to be Russia. Frederick, are you all right? Lord Asbel, I. I never dreamed to meet you here. Okay, I know Asbel left town, but like he was in the next town over. <laughs> I don't. Well, I guess they thought he was missing. After what has happened? I know about my father, Frederick. You don't need to apologize. Lord Asbel. Look, more Fendelian weapons. Metal Gear! When did Fendel get their hands on those? I don't know, but they're laying waste to our forces. Fendel's not messing around. The town's going to be in serious trouble if they get through. We have to stop them here. We've attempted numerous frontal assaults, but we simply lack <laughs> yeah, They're militiamen! <laughs> no, they're just, they're just waiting to be the boss battle. Then we'll have to get clever with the terrain. Maybe we could drop him off a cliff. A cliff? The meadow on Mont Hill isn't far from here. I'll distract the enemy. You go ahead and lead our people to safety. What are you going to do? You'll see. And since he was 12, Asbel has also smartened up.
you know, and I will have to say, as much as I do like Metal Gear, it probably won't be a game that I play on this channel. Um, I'm not great Jeremy, at video. Okay, hang on. I am as. If there are any warriors among you, let them step forward and face my blade. He's just a little guy, you know. He's just, he's just a little guy trying his best. Clearly, this kid is trying to distract us. <laughs> now I just have to lead them to the. Sharia, go with the others. I can handle this myself. I'll be fine. They're coming! Sherry, you go! Run for the meadow! Get to the meadow before the Vendelian's weapons catch you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, was this supposed to be intimidating? It's kind of the feeling I'm getting. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> it's just so like jiggly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Always take Elith when you can. Excuse me. No, no. We're not having this conversation. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. I'm gonna get life bottles. You're gonna get squished by the monster anyway, so... I just don't want to waste bad waste time on battles that are gonna take five seconds. But if you think that I lack the ability to do combos in this game, <laughs> my ability to do anything in Metal Gear will definitely show, so I don't- I probably won't be playing Metal Gear on the channel. Uh, I I uh, uh, I use the Elf mixer for um, for a consistent supply of apple yes, and grape gels. Damn it! No. You ever get so stressed out you manifest a whole <laughs> you manifest a dead friend? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, she's technically never dead, but still. What? What's going on? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean, I call on friends that have passed away in the past for strength, like, spiritually, but never in the mortal realm. <laughs> never- Sorry. never physically. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power. Or maybe I just haven't been that stressed yet. Oh, she's so adorable. I love her. She's, like, my favorite Tales character. I love Sophie. I grew up watching Saint Seiya. I love girls with purple hair. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Yeah. Well. Oh shit! Sorry about that. I apologize if you guys heard that. That was very loud. That was my alarm that I usually use when I need to stop working. But I'm not done with this yet. I'm gonna wait till this whole song is over before I go. Oh! What's gonna happen? 
Well, at least I took that hit for Sophie. Speaking of which, that's also a that's also a question that I have been asked uh, frequently for people who know me from my old channel. I don't see myself uh, giving Blizzard content ever again. <laughs> I just I don't see I don't see um, I don't see me playing Overwatch on this channel. Truthfully, not again. Even with the new hero and all that stuff, I can't. Battle over. <laughs> Back to our track. Well, I think the one thing that clues everybody off about Sophie is that even when everyone's clothes look just a little bit over designed, like Sophie's just look different. She is a small girl that punches very heavy things. And while eventually the series did come out with Jude, um, this is a little unusual. <laughs> she, you would think she'd be uncommonly strong and maybe perhaps not entirely human. Yeah, I just, I, I mean, I like Venture. I really do. I think they're, I think they're a pretty good addition to the roster. It's just, I can't it really deal is. Sophie. with <laughs> Overwatch being what it is, or Blizzard, to be honest. Because they screwed me over last time I streamed it their fucking game. Sophie. It's not going to stop them from doing it now. It's impossible. Sophie's gone. She's been dead for seven years. Sophie? But... Is it... Has she lost her memory too? Follow me. There's something I want to show you. This is such an awkward interaction. I don't blame him. Like, it, it, there's probably like a lot of emotions happening. Seven years ago, me, Sophie, and Richard all came to this very spot and swore a pact of friendship. Look here at this tree trunk. Well, do you remember anything? I don't know. Oh, bless. But just looking at this tree makes me feel somehow strange. It's like looking at something that's very precious to me. So, what does it mean? You can't be the real Sophie. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Here's the thing, that's literally the only explanation though. Even still, I can hardly imagine you. As anyone else. It's because she's the exact same person? I mean, you look just like her. Wow. So what happens now? Do you want to come back to town with us? That oh would be my best. god, she's adorable. It's really dangerous here. Okay, 
Then let's hurry back. I'm starting to get worried about the others. Yes. Let's go. A Sofaria seed? Maybe Sophie is watching over us after all. Like, I get the reluctance, especially from Asbel and Sharia, to accept, like, good things <laughs> and to accept, like, even the barest hope that their friend has come back to them. But there is kind of the whole... When you eliminate all the possibilities, whatever left must be true type beat. So but I get it. You come from? <laughs> it was a weird experience. I don't believe it. We know a girl who looks just like you. Hmm? I don't understand what you're talking about. Who are you? And figures. No, I think this really sure. is. Sophie died seven years ago. Face reality. Stop seeing things how you wish they were. Sharia. So what happened? How did this girl die? Well... That's... She died protecting us. She sacrificed herself because we were important to her. Because we were friends. Hmm. Oh, and the trauma conga line does not end here for old Asbel, because things get worse when he gets back home. Now we're gonna start small anime now. I realize that I'm a bit underleveled. That should buy us some time at least, right? It wouldn't- I, I personally, Ray, I personally don't think it would be weird. I think it would be deeply traumatizing and disturbing. <laughs> Oh, no, I know what you meant. But yeah, I understand, like, the general, like, I understand, like, just the, the reluctance to be hopeful, because after everything that's happened, it's like, I'm gonna be disappointed, and it's gonna be awful. <laughs> because, you know, as much shit as I give Asbro, like, it's not my favorite. Um, he's been through a lot. Like, especially in such a short time as a 12-year-old kid, where he thought he was on the top of the world one minute, and then the second a friend he made dies, one gets almost attempted to get assassinated, his brother is sent away for a reason he doesn't understand and is never told. And like, my thing, like, no wonder he left. <laughs> like, he, it wasn't, it wasn't responsible, but he was also twelve. Okay, let's. And that left poor Sherry in alert. Essentially, be the Lady Sherry's emotional stress ball. I believe that's how they described it. No, they- I think they use the phrase emotional punching bag, actually. That should buy us some time at least, right? Because you know, low-key, Sherry is like the only people- the only person keeping like, launt bureaucracy from bursting into flames. We won't fail. That's, you know, that that's just a lot of responsibility for kids that are really very young. So no wonder Asbel acts the way he does. He was taught from a very young age that he needs to take responsibility for everyone, and he tries to, and it doesn't go well because you can't possibly take responsibility for everyone. That is just not how life works.
Sorry, I'm philosophizing. We're playing a video game. Did everyone make it to safety? Yes. We're all alive thanks to you. However, many people were wounded. D daddy Wow, I couldn't even give my dude a name. My daddy Don't worry. I'll help your daddy get better, okay? Where are the injured? In the town square. I'm going to go see if I can help. Sharia has been a comfort to us all. That's a weird way to put that. She can heal people with a touch. It's almost like she's Lon's guardian angel. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Very much so. She's like the one thing keeping that place from bursting into flame. What happened to Fendel's army? They pulled back, but they're still within Mont's borders. They've constructed an encampment just in front of the border fortress. You know, Bailey is supposed to be like 29. <laughs> like, my dude is stressed. Look at his hair. <laughs> Unless we destroy that encampment, we'll never be able to drive them out. Do we have any intelligence on it? Yes, I submitted a full report to Lord... to your father. Good. I'll check it out when I return home. One more thing. Frederick and Lady Carey are waiting for you at the manor. I understand. I'll go to them right away. Seven years. This is quite the homecoming. Asbel? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's go home. Oof. That let's go home is extra painful. Yay, more life bottles. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Oh, not yet. I went, I went over there at the wrong time. You're not gonna give me, like, random food or anything? Please? There's supposed to be a cat on this doorstep, I think. I'll do the exploring later. <laughs> How have you been? Um, the rest of us, you know, things kind of fucking suck. So, thanks for that. Asbel. Hi, mom. I will say, uh -huh. I do love Lady Carrie's design. Her dress, especially. I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're back. After what happened to your father, I've been so very worried. I'm sorry I wasn't here. And I'm glad you're all right, Frederick. I owe you a debt I can never I repay, I Lord Axbell. Did I miss the funeral? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you did. I couldn't wait for your return. The composition waits for no one, Asbel. <laughs> your father fought bravely and died defending his home. I pray that is of some. Glenn Fraldarius would like a word with you, Frederick. I understand. Thank you for being there during his final hour. You are too kind. Asbel, please. Please don't leave us again. 
You must stay and rule in your father's place. We have nowhere else to turn. That... That's why you've come back, right? Ooh. <laughs> I came back to see if you needed anything, and assess Lon's current condition. We can talk about everything else later, Mom. Jesus Christ. Asbel, you can't mean to return to Barona. Not after all that's happened. I know what you're trying to say, but I... I need some time. I need time to think. At least let me go to my last therapy session, Mom. Jeez. We left your room just as it was. Please feel free to use it as you like. Thank you, Frederick. Sophie, I'm going to check out my old room. Wanna come? Asbel. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> no one does right by poor kid by poor lady Carrie. Ain't nobody does right by that poor woman. sound like a low rumble in my microphone. I apologize if you can hear it. Just like the rooster from next door. I hate that thing. Our neighbor has been compensating us for the noise by uh, giving us eggs. But uh, the rooster the rooster goes hard in the paint every single day, just screaming and yelling at the top of its lungs. Dad. We never had a chance to understand each other. To be fair, Hespel, your father was emotionally abusive, but, you know. If I'd only known how bad things were here. If only I'd accepted my role as your heir. Then none of this would have happened. Uh, don't give yourself that much credit. <laughs> I don't think- I don't think- I don't think anything could have stopped what's happening now. What am I meant to do? I've spent seven years training for knighthood, and now I'm nearly there. I wanted to be strong so I could protect people. But I couldn't protect anyone, could I? Not even my own father. And then he died protecting his own people. Protect. Protect. Everyone. You know, it's because of you that I wanted to be strong in the first place. Me? I mean, sorry. I guess I think of you as Sophie, you know? This is so weird. It's like I've gone back in time. But I think I know my answer. I think I've always known it. From the very beginning. Thanks. I think you helped me figure some things out. I didn't do anything, but okay. <laughs> You know, at least they didn't remove Hubert from the from the family portrait. When I first played this game, I fully expected Hubert to be removed from the family portrait. And I was like already so hurt about it the minute I thought about it. Like I was angry for him. <laughs> for something that hadn't even happened yet. Man, it's been a while since I've been in here. Oof, the feeling of walking into small? your childhood bedroom after, like, after getting a certain age. I remember when I left college, left for college for the first time, I came back and I was like, I have been sleeping in a twin bed all my life. What is this injustice?
I brought you some tea, Lord Asbel. Perfect timing, Frederick. Would you please mail this letter for me? Well, my lord! This is a letter of withdrawal from the Knight Academy. I will become the next Lord of Launt. It is my duty as Aston Launt's firstborn son. I shall inform Lady Kerry immediately. She will be overjoyed. Sure. Sure. One oh, more thing. One more thing. Just remember that I'm giving up my life's work and dream for this. <laughs> I've heard about a report outlining the Fendolian army's encampment. It's waiting in the study, my lord. Shall I escort you there? That would be perfect. See, and this is Asbel attempting to, you know, take some responsibility for his actions. Which I can appreciate. I will say, he's not as, um... He doesn't overthink it like Jude does. But, you know, that's when, you know, discernible character flaws come come in. It feels weird sitting here. This is where Dad did most of his paperwork. Oh god, sitting- going into a room where someone who's recently passed- Like, someone who recently passed very suddenly and then going into their room and seeing stuff that they hadn't finished and stuff that they didn't finish working on and stuff that they wanted to do, it fucking sucks. Like, that- that is one of the most- that is probably, like, the roughest experience. Frederick, do you know if this report is still accurate? It claims we can pass through the seaside cavern beyond Mont Hill and emerge near the enemy encampment. If that's true, we could use the cavern to stage a surprise attack. Pardon me, Lord Asbel? It's getting warm in here. You look at home here. Fan. Does this mean our land finally has a new lord? It does. I know I'm young, but I'll do my best. I hope you'll help me, Bailey. I am yours to command, my lord. Have you heard from the Royal Knights? Will they ride it's to our been, aid? It's been like six hours, Bailey. I have not been back yet. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound good. I fear we fight this battle alone. I see. As such, I'm considering how to deal with Fendel. What are you planning? We should strike. It's time we went on the offensive. We can use the Seaside Cavern to stage a night attack on their main camp. Interesting. Yes, the cavern should allow us to approach the enemy undetected. We'll split into small units and regroup near the exit. Oh, this is the first of then when night Tales falls, of Graces. I will lead the attack. Same Z's sort of uh, dungeons. Ready the men. I want to be there tonight. I think the only so other game that really the stressed me out with its dungeons was Bravely Default. The timing is perfect. And the only reason these stress me out is because sometimes they look the same. But I think that was just a for the sake of at the time a design fail. like a design shortcoming, not even a design flaw. I think that was just a shortcoming in the design because at the time this was only the PS2. And if I can think of all the PS2 games that I've played in the in the past, a lot of them had dungeons that looked the same because. The game development's hard. We shall begin preparations at once. Yeah, the Amarcian dungeons are pretty annoying. Wallbridge is my least favorite. I hate Wallbridge. <laughs> I had a guide and I still got lost. I want to be a part of this fight, Asbel. I want to help drive Fendel from my home. Sharia, I... I want to go too.
Thank you. Thank you both. We'll leave as soon as preparations are complete. I want to make sure we reach the cavern before nightfall. I'll be ready. Alright. Uh, really? I just need to make sure that they have stronger weapons. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> that's, mm. That's a loaded sentence. Alright, let's save again, just because... Very particular. All right. So before we do all of that, because I have had uh, a seltzer and regular water and another seltzer and I took an ibuprofen, uh, we are going to uh, stand by for just a second. I have to go use the bathroom. And in the meantime, actually, hang on. I forgot to put on the music. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. There it goes. to use the bathroom, kiss a husband, all that good stuff. Well, technically, 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 DJ is my fiance. But, uh, we live together. He's my husband. <laughs> Sherry is- ooh, I am sorry. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. Uh, the silk blouse should protect Sherry a more. And I have the iron tunic on, so... I have a lot of gold, I'm not worried. Um, actually, funny story... That's from later, I guess. Funny story... 
So, uh, DJ actually proposed to me at Dragon Con. Uh, he had planned it the whole time. I was completely unaware. And everyone around me knew, apparently. <laughs> um, and I, it had gone completely over my head. I was going off to get my, uh, I was going off to get one of my cosplay props signed by, uh, the McElroy brothers. And... <laughs> and, uh, his mom had just so happened to, like, be there, and she was, you know, chatting me up, and I was like, normally she goes off by herself. She's, like, I, I, I hope, you know, she's not being intimidated by the crowd. I hope she's, like, feeling okay, because I thought maybe she wasn't feeling well. And then my sister-in-law joins me. And, um, I... And even then, I was like, man, it must be an emergency. And then I see DJ, and he comes up to me, and he gives me, like, a big hug. And I'm like... And I was like, what? What's going on? Did some, like, did some, at, at that point, I'm so sure that something bad happened. Because I can feel his hand shaking. And I'm like, oh, jeez, okay, what's happening? And then, my mom comes out of the crowd. My mom, who hates crowds. My parents, both of them, actually. Both of them hate crowds. And they, they come out of the crowd. And then my brother, with his entire camera setup, comes out of the crowd. And that's when my brain is like, Oh god! It's happening! It's happening! <laughs> and uh, someone took a picture. They, they, uh, uh, his mom was recording me the whole time. Um, and he barely was on his knee for like a second before I was like, Yes! <laughs> he, he, he... If I recall correctly, he was maybe down for like a few seconds. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, that's my other half right there. He's playing Balotaro right now. Or Balotaro, I think is what it's called. To be honest, I thought he was playing Hellbiker 2. So that seems to be everyone's sort of play these days. I mean, it's not bad, my computer just can't play it. <laughs> My computer is time, my computer right? is a little old. She's she's not she's not as she was kind of old when I got her, <laughs> but okay, she's, she's hanging in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's actually been on a, uh, on a Minecraft, but no one can stand before my blade. What we really need to do is start a, a new Stardew farm. Which, I don't know. I might do Sunday. Just as like a chill Sunday stream. I used to play Sims on Sunday, but um, the thing about Sims is it can get really annoying really quickly. Especially because I don't play Sims 4. I only play like the older Sims games. Sophie, don't wander too far. Alright. Sophie, don't wander off too far! <laughs> Runs immediately in the opposite direction. Love her. Uh, I don't know. She needs a name, right? Even though we have no idea who she really is? Look, I'm just... We need to come back to reality. Everything has changed since... Since, then. Since you abandoned me! You're right. It has changed. Sophie's dead. My father's dead. Hubert got adopted by some guy in Strata. Oh, and my oldest friend treats me like a total stranger. Oh yeah, sure! Blame me smile. for being upset <laughs> at the absolutely dismal circumstances we're in right now. Look, I know this is all my fault, okay? It's not about you, though. <laughs> That's why I decided to stay. What do you call this flower? It's a Sofaria. That's where we got the name Sophie. 
Sophie. As Belle calls me Sophie. Sorry, I should have asked you first. No, it's fine. Please call me Sophie. I like this flower. It feels warm and familiar. It makes me happy to be named after it. If you like it, why don't you grow another one? Here, take this. It's a Sofaria seed. This will turn into a Sofaria flower? When we get back to the manor, you can plant it in the flower bed. Alright. Pigtail just waggling in the wind. I love that. Ah, Jenny. World's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be real with you. Probably not playing Magikarta. I said that in the previous episode, but... <laughs> probably not. It's probably not gonna happen. I have enough of everything. Uh, but do you have... No, I don't need holy bottles at the moment. I probably won't need holy bottles until we're towards the end of the game. Um, they really wanted Magikarta to be like the card game from uh, Final Fantasy VIII, and I didn't like that one either. <laughs> So this is the seaside cavern. I can't believe I've never been- No one has seen us yet. Good. Let's keep it that way. Now come on. Alright, here we go. And we get to write the mold as well. 1500 gold. Do forget money is pretty plentiful in this game. Okay, let's do this! Okay. God damn it! Can we all please attack this thing at the same time? So it will split and expound this battle even more. No, 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 get murdered. Battle over. Back to our track. In every game, I hate slimes in every game. Star use off the shits! I can't lose! <laughs> All I can think of when I think of those things because of the way they run around. <laughs> oh! Okay, 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 okay. I know, I know, I know. I guess Sherry needs to do it. And then you can use Y'all see this shit? Are y'all seeing this shit? Truly and genuinely, are y'all seeing this shit? Uh, we'll let Sophie do it because Sophie is running away. Sorry about that. One little angry starfish left. Please don't stun me again. Pulled it off somehow. Sword arts like shockwaves help me out. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, I'm mad at being choosy with some of those things. Put it back. Cause I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Love Asbel's slow jump. I 
I didn't think we'd actually have to swim through this place. I'm all wet. Are you cold? If it's too much, take Sophie and head back to Lant. Don't worry about me. I'm the one who asked to come. Remember? I know you think of me as a little girl you left behind, oh, I'm just or thinking that <laughs> maybe I'm in the way. I don't know. Do you even really want me here? If not, you should just say so. No, I didn't say that. I'm actually really happy you're here. I just don't want to push you too hard. I couldn't stand it if something happened to either of you. Well, that just makes me incredibly sad. <laughs> Sharia, you are wet too. That's right, I don't have fire arts yet. <laughs> I'm gonna wring out my clothes, so turn around. Oh, right. <laughs> I was scratching my nose! Oh, give me a little shit. No, don't do that! Hitting it with lightning bolt. No one can stand before my blade. I don't have moonlight uh moonlight circle yet, do I? Let me double check. Uh, I'll do the, that in a minute. Uh shock and slash, demon fang, oh I have demon fang. Okay. You know, there may be other points in this cave where we have to swim underwater to keep moving forward. Okay. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. We'll move slowly and carefully. <laughs> you okay, Sophie? And Sherry, you should be careful not to catch a cold as well. Hey, don't stare at me like that when I'm all drenched. Uh, sorry. <sighs> even, in mortal, even in mortal danger, an awkward teenager is still an awkward teenager. Bottle. That's pretty rare. Oh! Okay! <laughs> I love how even the game is like, you don't need to hoard these. <laughs> like the, uh, the fucking Omega potions from Tales of Exilia where the item, the item description says, these are replenishable. You don't, if you're in dire straits, you need to use them. Save a country. You're trying to eat me. Least, Those aren't right? equivalent. Oh. No, that's all that's the way back. Damn it. That's literally where I just came from. Oh, no, it's not. It'd be worth it. It was! Okay, never mind! <laughs> That's actually not bad for the stage of the game, truly.
Okay, let's do this. It's fine. I defeated you as you know. Oh, Sherry is dead. I didn't even realize she was getting beat up. Ooh, my bad, my bad, girl. It's it's okay. It's okay. Let me get you some milk. Oh, two healers in the group. This area goes down. That makes me feel really bad. This reminds me a little bit of Mushroom Rock from Final Fantasy from Final Fantasy X. I know it's kind of like a generic-ish beach area, but for some reason, Mushroom Rock is one of my favorite uh, Final Fantasy X locales. Though that whole moment in the game, like, had it like changed my personality. But <laughs> shit, you not like that. The tragedy of Mushroom Rock is so much. hard to hear certain cues without the game on you. I really need to make good on getting that core. That's the problem. I'm missing a cord from my capture card that will enable me to hear um, everything, including the game audio on my end. And when I tried to order it, I tried to order it off of Amazon, um, even with time, it was $12.99 in shipping, because it's an old port. Oh, <laughs> whiff. Let's keep moving. What's up? One of the things that does make me sad about this game is that I can't fight two groups of enemies at the same time. I don't care how much of chain gauge it uses. They're just easier that way. Yes, hi. Let me get to the treasure chest first. Okay, let's do this. Oh, this battle's gonna take Okay, First off, don't make things hard for me. Especially Xenoblade Chronicles, but that's another rant for another day. I really don't have a problem with Xenoblade Chronicles. I think it's a great game. I just personally suck at the controls. Like, it's purely a personality issue. It has nothing to do with the game. I'm so bad at wrapping my head around it. 
Maybe for the first Richard fight, I'll um, I'll put it on auto and we'll make bets. I don't know what we'll bet, but it'll be great. Supposed to be a discovery point near here. We'll save those for the late game. Is another discovery point somewhere around here. Yes, this is where it is. I love this. This is so pretty. I never use dark bottles, truthfully. Yes. Night Soul Colony. Oh, that's. I was about to say, I was like, is there no. A colony of glintsoul bugs. I saw them in one of Hubert's books once. That reminds me of when you used to come hide out at our house. You probably don't know this, Asbel, but whenever we did that, Grandpa and Lady Carrie would scold me to no end. They did? But yes, Lord your Aston mother literally forbade defense. me from hanging out with you. He was always looking out for me. My father did that? Really? That's why I was so sad when I'd heard he'd... He died. Sharia. Man, if only he had had that sort of emotional range for his own sons! Sorry, that was me crushing a crayon. Yeah, this- this- this tree is beautiful. Like, this whole- this whole section of the game. Like, the water looks good. The- the tree looks very pretty. The- Yeah, this- there are certain parts of this game that look really, really beautiful. There are other parts of this game that look not so great, but I think that's because, once again, they really did struggle with dungeon design in this game. Um, but I think that was a fault of the original development. I just think that was a problem with the original development. Like, it wasn't easy to make dungeons that looked different on the PlayStation 2. Even Kingdom Hearts had a world where everything looked the same. And specifically, Deep Jungle and Hollow Bastion. <laughs> I mean, no, not Hollow Bastion. Neverland. Excuse me. Neverland. Sophie, wait! Don't touch that. Hmm? Why not? <laughs> because it's literally called death That's a glow. carnivorous sea plant that paralyzes its prey. It may not like people. It's dangerous. Did it bite you? Mm, just a little. Let's see. It's better. <sighs> Good. I'm glad you were here, Sharia. Sophie, you should thank Sharia too. Thank you, Sharia. Uh, of course. I really love how uh, I've always loved the uh, skits in. Um, I, I've always loved the skits in Tales of games. I will say in Tales of Berseria they didn't hit because they were they seemed very short. But I also know why they seemed that way because the situation is very urgent. <laughs> 
and none of the characters can exactly just sit around and have like a whole ass conversation. I believe there is one scene where the characters have like a moment of repose. <laughs> and that's only Rokuro and Aizen. Huh? Oh cool. What the hell? Oh, okay, that, that's 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 so fun. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. It's freshen me up. Uh, I should have gotten a piece of equipment that made me immune to poison, but I didn't. Yes. We will survive. Ready? Yes. Okay. Go. What the hell are you doing? Again. 
Yeah, Sophie's not gonna be able to get Cherry out. Okay, hang on. No, we can do this. We can do this! <laughs> yep, yeah, no. There goes Sophie. <laughs> oh god! Cherry's gonna get mobbed by the fucking slimes. Okay, no, listen. I can do this. I promise. I can do it. Um... Let's have Sophie reduce numbers. That might work. Okay, let's do this. Already? Come the fuck on! This should not be a challenge. And yet... Get your shit together, sweetheart! be a challenge and yet sorry about that cool and now the monster gets an elephant as well <laughs> okay you guys saw me quick step right into that right just making sure oh now sherry is dead too this is not going well get me up sorry about that I want you to look at how sad this is. This is depressing. I don't think I've ever struggled so much on this boss. I'm like, she's almost dead. Look at that. Weak against literally everything that I have. And yet, I'm sucking for some reason. Sophie got a heal off. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat her with this. Uh, with this. Uh, what I did was help Sylvia wipe the mobs and try to keep people alive with gels, if I recall correctly. Don't remember this fight giving me issues either. Yeah, 
I have never struggled this much on this battle. I have only ever needed to do it once. So I don't know what the big deal is. Hmm. I'm getting a little frustrated. Oh, that's why. Does she... Oh, because Sophie has the silk blouse. Damn it. Does Sophie need the silk blouse, though? Yeah, kind of. Okay, damn it. Alright, let's try again. Okay, let's do this! Asbel are very suddenly dead. Oh, what the fuck? Starting to get a little salty. All right. Let's see if the computer thinks it can do better. I'm putting the controller down. Let's see if the computer thinks it can do better.
Howling Fang is good for the slimes. I don't think I have Howling Fang yet. Remember this boss battle being this hard. Let me go back to arts. Yeah, I only have three. I have Demon Fang, Lightning Strike, and Shockwave Slash. Uh. No, that's the only recipe I've got. Okay, Burial Blade, and then Bestial Roar. Ooh, it's very... Okay. Upper... Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I truly do not remember this being this hard. But I shouldn't complain, so I won't. Let's mix up our strategies a little. Style. Defensive. Protect allies. Style. Defensive. Reduce numbers. Style. Defensive. Yes. Back on auto. No. Yeah, 
Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Didn't realize Sherry was getting bullied. That's so targeted. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> It immediately turned back the minute she was revived. It immediately went back like, then off it. Guarding exactly, so now that I know that. because she's not in the shame circle. And then we'll switch our strategy to protect allies and often. Very weak to A arts. I know that! I'm trying my best! That was so annoying. I have never struggled that much on this boss battle. Absolutely never! I played this game like 10 times! There's video footage! I've streamed this exact game before, I've never struggled like this. That's so aggravating. Like that here. We'd better be careful. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Ray. I don't see the Fendulians anywhere. Let's stay here and wait for our men to arrive. It's almost time. No, no thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. No more slimes. That monster was horrible. Do you think it was part of Fendel's defenses? No, I don't think so. It's probably lived down here for years. So, it would still be alive if I mean, for... to be fair, Sharia, it seems to have eaten a lot it's of people. Now. Maybe. But it was either us or it. And we have to save Launt. Asbel? There's no time for pity. I'm the only one who can protect Launt now. Like, I, I feel like... Like, you can- Sherry, uh, sweetheart, you can feel as sorry as you want, but that thing is eating people, clearly. <laughs> uh, I walked the opposite way to pick up trash. Aren't you supposed to be doing something? Some trash and some money I found on the beach. There's no one here. Lord Asbel, we've been undone. What happened? 
The enemy has staged their own sneak attack. They're advancing on the town as we speak. No. <laughs> what? I do wonder why that's surprising. We must have passed each other in the night. Unless they knew about our plan all along. Probably the letter. Damn it. We can't stay here. We have to fall back. It was a good plan. The town's nearly defenseless. They'll be overrun in no time. This, not a very timely one. I didn't see the- I- we'll keep guard here! Why? <laughs> Why? Why? I don't think you need to. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I clearly need to level up, so... Let's keep moving! I promise you, I am not switching this game's mo- I'm not switching this game's level to easy until the final battle. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I promise I'm kidding. I promise I'm kidding. The final battle in this game is not nearly as bad as, uh, Telda's Hysteria's. Telda's Hysteria's is a fucking nightmare. Game on! Are you on normal? Yeah. Which is why I was so shocked that uh, I struggled with that boss so bad. Let's keep moving. Cause this isn't even that hard. <laughs> now, now, granted, hard in a Tales game is hard, but I don't know, normal's pretty like you know how some games where it says it's normal difficulty, where it says it's normal difficulty and it's really like not. <laughs> You know, that's how the whole phrase Nintendo hard came from. Because it says it's normal mode, but it's clearly not. But yeah, normal mode for Kelvin has never been I think that's all of them. Did you see that? <laughs> I know, right? Did you see that slime? I'm not doing that shit! <laughs> I did love Bear City. I saw- I see, um... A minute ago, you said something about Berseria's uh, battle system. I did love Berseria's battle system, too. Am I going the right way? Uh, clearly, because there's a deadman. Uh, let's see. I thrive on dodging and getting into full of battle. Okay, let's do this! I'm terrible at dodging. You won't live to regret one of the reasons I was never able to get into I'm kind of a brute force kind of person. Okay. I don't know why I'm a bit more. I'm, uh... We won't fail. I'm I'm big on brute forcing it, but that's not really a good thing. You should see me play. You should see me play Baldur's Gate. It's it's like how many times can you use magic missile in one battle? I don't know, but I'm gonna fucking show you. <laughs> So I might just, um, maybe Sunday I'll come around and do some, uh, do some grinding, because clearly I'm under level. Another deadman? Now what if I just took a detour? Oh, you can take a detour. Go ahead. Just shoulder the blame all by yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just... I'm just irritated. Irritated? It's kind of like being angry, but... You're cute, Sharia. <laughs> Where'd that come from? When I asked Asbel, he told me to say it to you. <sighs> hey, Sophie, will you tell Asbel something from me? Sure. Tell him to butt out. Butt out. Right. <laughs> Asbel, what are you doing? We need to get to Launt. Wait, Sharia, hear me out. We don't have time. Please. <sighs> okay. Look, the people of Launt are all I have. Uh? I withdrew from the Academy. I won't be joining the Knights. What are you saying? What does that even mean? I don't mean? know, he was pretty clear. <laughs> it's all right. 
And no matter what Fendel brings to bear against us, I'll stake my life to stop them. Just like my dad did. I'll prove to the world that I can protect them. And you. Will you stand with me, Sharia? Will you trust in me? I... I will. But why couldn't you have said that seven years ago? That's a good question! Mm, she's got you there, buddy. I know I'm supposed to be hurrying. I have a question for you, Ray. Are you a Zelda fan? And I think I've asked you this, uh, this question, Movie Geek, but, um, I think I've asked you that question, Movie Geek, but I don't remember your answer, so. How many of you are Zelda fans? It's fine if you're not. I know these days it can be quite the acquired taste, but. Yeah, why are you asking? Oh, just out of curiosity, it's another one of the games I was thinking about playing, but I know it's a bit of a shift. Because I would hope... That my, my... I wanted to do, uh, Ocarina of Time entirely from memory. But I would need... Or, I could play Ocarina of Time using an old... I still have one of the, f the first Nintendo Power Guides for Ocarina of Time. Oh, sorry, serious cutscene. Damn, that dude just got executed. Damn, they're already here! Oh no, how did this happen? New troops are coming in from the west! They're not from Fendel. Wait, they're from Strata. Men, spread out and attack. Drive the Fendelians back. Go! From the neck down is just. You hurt. I expect the best from everyone. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Rude. 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 Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have Sherry and Sophie. Ugh. Definitely a paragon type character. Hubert, it's really you. You came back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lieutenant, the enemy has been driven out. Lieutenant? Wow, Hubert. You're really going places. He was such a Virgil. He really is, though. Dead ass. He really is. Good people of Lant, do not be afraid. The men of Strata have driven the Fendelian army from your town. If you are wondering why we have come to your aid. I can provide an answer. 
I am Hubert Oswell, formerly of the Launt family. I am the youngest son of Lord Aston, who tragically lost his life in your defense. It's Master Hubert! It's Master Hubert! <laughs> the delayed reaction. I'm sorry. <laughs> While I am now a man of strata, I still hold my homeland in the highest regard. That's why we're taking over. <laughs> when I heard of your desperate plight, I was compelled to come to your aid. And I have further good news to share with you all. Strata and Windor have formed an alliance against the cruel <laughs> nation of Fendel. Ugh, I felt that coming on and I couldn't mute the microphone in time. Your fight is ours, and we shall work as one to drive our common enemy from this land forever! Hubert, wait! The lieutenant has many matters that demand his attention. If you desire an audience, please, please wait, wait until, until morning, morning so I can be as creepy as possible to your female friends. Uh, Hubert... Remember, he does have a kidnapping subplot. I do want to throw that out there. What's up, Sophie? Oh, I see. You're planting the Sophia seed. When will it bloom? It should sprout in a few days and bloom some time after that. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you continue to take good care of it, you might even get to see a blossom gale. I should have like hydrate redeems and stuff, shouldn't I? What's that? You know, even after playing Lineage and Legacies, I'm still not super sure what the blossom gale was supposed to be. It happens after they bloom. If the flowers bathe in starlight for a few nights, like or the, so did the, I hear. the do the flower petals like was what I don't know what caused the sparkles. They never specify that. I don't really know the details. Anyway, just be patient and take good care of it. But anyways, I know it's a metaphor. So Hubert, are you done working today? More or less. Look at you. Lieutenant in the military at such a young age? I... I never thought I'd see you again. Not like this, at least. You saved us, you know. You saved Want. <laughs> Just stares at his hand for a really long time like, Look, Asbel, I've had seven years to get as bitter as possible. Um, I'm not gonna wait for your character development to not be that bitter. We're lucky the town wasn't damaged further. <laughs> oh, his little sad face! Look at Asbel, he's just a little guy! He's just a little guy! Um, so, how long are you staying? We should catch up, you know? I could use your advice on a whole bunch of things. Yeah, I know you could. That's why I'm taking over. I'll be here for quite a while. Really? That's great! You can help us figure out what the enemy's going to do next. I'll feel a lot better knowing that we're working together. The resemblance is uncanny. Her movements, her body, even her expression. She's like Sophie in every way. I will investigate this matter personally. Whoa, hey, wait. That won't be necessary. I'll decide what to do with her. So, the boy who abandoned his family now thinks to be Lord. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hu 
Hubert is such a little fashion designer. We have more designer. important issues to discuss. Meet me in the study when you're ready. Like, the Strata military is already, like... I need to talk to Hubert. Are you okay here? A little nod. Cute. So, like, Hubert... Let's, let's, let's... So... Hubert... The reason why... I think... I My theory is the reason why they gave him such, like, a cool personality and so level-headed was because his outfit is a disaster. <laughs> um... The Strata military. Now, I will say, none of the what it, none of what the Strata military wears as a whole looks great, cause cause the hats, the hats. But something about the mixture of the bodysuit and the thigh high boots, I do wonder how my dude goes to the bathroom without like having to disassemble. Truly. <laughs> Good. You're here. <laughs> Good, you're here. I get to shame you. There is an important matter that I neglected to tell the townspeople. <laughs> I was talking about taking a shit, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose that could still work, but he'd still have to take off the coat. <laughs> As part of the bilateral alliance between our nations, the Stratton military will be permanently stationed So, it's a very not-hostile takeover. I have been appointed military governor, and will handle all affairs of state from this point forward. This was basically, essentially... In a, uh, essentially, this, is, this was kind of a go-to tactic for a lot of, uh, for a lot of, I think, I want to say Chinese forces defending from the Japanese around, like, around, like, from the early 1900s to the 1940s, um, they would essentially come in, fight them back, and then be like, oh yeah, we're just staying here. <laughs> and then you wouldn't really get a chance about? to say no because this. you don't have the military manpower to fight a battle on two fronts. You just kind of have to let them it stay the there. Negotiated directly between the governments of Strata and Windor. Let me ask you something. What exactly? I do think you, hope to you can hear more here? about it on the extra credits channel. As of now, you're completely dependent upon my military. No lord can rule under such conditions. But... What Lant needs now is power. Strength. This is something I possess. I'm taking out the bitterness I, hel I have held about our father on you, so... Take responsibility. As a commander in Strata's military, I can bring peace and stability to this land. I do think Hubert's heart is in the right place, but he's still definitely very angry. I've spent the last seven years studying and training. I've sacrificed everything to achieve what I've become. In Lineage and Legacies, um, he does go into detail about his training. Um, well, a little bit. He says something along the lines of being put through hell from the minute he got there. I'm not you. I didn't forget my home and my people so I could go gallivanting around the countryside. You don't know what I went through. You have no idea what it's like to train at the Night Academy. Then perhaps you'd care to show me what you've learned. <sighs> Here is my proposal. If I defeat I'm you in combat, to lose this battle. you will leave Lant immediately. If I lose, I will recognize you as the rightful lord. Are you nuts? I'll never agree to that. Then run. Run like you always do. It will prove the last seven years were about nothing more than your own pride. Damn. Damn. Fine. Let's see if my training was just one big ego trip. I'm glad you've accepted my proposal. But I warn you, I'm not the boy you knew seven years ago. Hubert! 
I forgot he whipped ass. Hubert whips ass. <laughs> Hubert, you've grown strong. <laughs> oh, I might need to draw this. Hubert with his full foot up in the air, just going foolish. Like fucking Orochimaru. <laughs> I told you, I'm not the boy you knew. As per our agreement, you will leave Lant. Now. Hubert, what is this? Asbel left the Knight Academy to take your father's place as the next lord. I finally get both my sons back. <laughs> no, and now to be precise, Mom, throat. I'm at Asbel's throat, okay? Asbel ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Last I checked, you have only one son. Yeah, I think Hubert's still a little mad. What are you saying? I am an Oswell. That that does make me kind of like I know that Lady Carrie probably like there's probably like a whole dissertation on you know how women are expected to act and all that good stuff. But here's the thing, Lady Carrie didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> she didn't even say you can't do this. I don't want to do this. Aston said, this is what we're doing, and she went, well, okay. I just, and I, I'd be mad too if, yeah, exactly, I would be pissed. Like, I, that, I, I was saying in the previous stream, like, the minute, like, even if Aston Lott had done everything right by Asbel, the minute he heard that his brother and best friend was getting shipped off overseas for no other reason than, oh, they might start fighting over Lott in the future. <laughs> um, just, like, that, you would never get his trust back. Ever. Like, he would be devastated. <coughs> and no matter what happened, he would probably still end up leaving. Because it's like, hey, you know, he didn't even think about it twice. Like, hey, my son, one of my son's friends died. Maybe I should take his brother away, too. Hubert, your father was only thinking of no, you. No, he when... wasn't. He was thinking about himself and his own trauma. But that's another, that's another rant for another day. I'm about to wrap up stream here in a minute because my throat hurts. Enough. The two of you abandoned me. And that's the truth of it. No, please don't. Don't worry, Lady Carrie. I will not force you to leave as well. Hubert was promised that he would be able to come back. <laughs> you know, in the beginning video of this, it definitely implies that Hubert slapped her. It's just kind of terrible when you really think about it. <laughs> like, in the beginning movie, during, like, the whole theme song, it definitely implies that Hubert, like, hit her. <laughs> yeah, because she's on the ground. She's on the ground, and he's standing over her. It's like a blink-if-you-miss-it moment. Asbel. No, blink and you miss it moment, not blink if you miss it. <laughs> you can't come with me, Sophie. Not this time. Go find Sharia. She'll take care of you. Yeah, because Sharia totally needs more responsibility in her life. Hey, quit blubbering and go! Yeah, the Strata military just... Doesn't have good fashion sense. Asbel, Hubert, how did this happen? Y 
It's going to rain soon. Let's get inside. I'm not weak like I used to be, Grandpa. You don't have to worry. No, I kind of do a little bit, actually. I always worry about you, no matter how healthy you are. Everyone changed. It's all different now. Such is life. You just keep changing with it until you find the right path. Yeah, he makes that sound so easy. Oh, God. When times are trying, you mustn't fear to face them. Grandpa. Oh, young masters. Why did it come to this? If I recall correctly, that is a that is a scene added from F. Alright, let's get to the save point, and let's get to <laughs> Asbel's mental breakdown, and then I am probably going to end stream. Because I'm hungry. I need a sandwich. Normally this is around the time where I'm cooking dinner. Because that's my go-to, like, calm down of the day. Well, I don't anticipate a challenge. Really this. this is why I've been considering streaming at three instead. Okay. I think that's that way I can end a bit early and then start dinner. Although I will say I do have some white. I do have some mushrooms and some white wine. Ooh, won't take long. Let's have a little. Okay. Little Die. Some mushrooms. I got some mushrooms, some onions. I don't have any. Chicken. That was hardly worth dirtying oh, yes, my blade. Do, actually, it's pretty late, but I mean, it's Saturday, so like, what the fuck? Why not? <laughs> I know it's a lot of work, but yes, it is game. It is a lot of work. What a horrible walk of shame. I don't anticipate a challenge. Just literally getting kicked out. Okay. Not yet. Oh my god, focus. Okay. Okay. We won't fail. <laughs> Asbel's victory quotes are just getting increasingly sadder. <sighs> gonna have some garlic and mushroom some garlic I don't anticipate some garlic, a challenge some okay. Okay. pasta huh? some herbs okay I think that's Tasty. all of them one of the skills I did retain from being a chef is um like we'll being able long. to okay. make really good Die. meals out of yes. like little things you know huh. yeah. Sweet. Okay. No one can stand before my blade. Like I can look at some, I can look at like ingredients that I have left over and be like, oh, this is what I can make out of this. I always encourage people to learn how to cook because that's how you learn how to make something out of nothing. This is such a good scene, and I'm a little bit sad that I have no game audio Sophie, for it. I'm okay. Really, you should go back. I will protect you. <laughs> that brings me back. You know, this is the place where someone first said that to me. I was so irritated a girl wanted to protect me. I said that I would protect her instead, but I didn't. And now, nothing has changed. I'm completely helpless. I'm a failure. I didn't save anyone then, and I can't save them now. 
was, Belle. It's not about you. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. Sorry about earlier. That was kind of embarrassing. Do you really want to stay with me, Sophie? Okay. Then I swear to protect you. And this time, I won't fail. <laughs> but for now, uh, I have been in the rain for over an hour, and I am now very Dizzy. ill. Your head feels hot. Damn it. Not now. Asbel. Uh, 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 water. I'll go get some water. Wait here. Yeah, you ever have a moment where you realize you're s where you realize that you're not feeling well, mm. and the minute you realize you're not <laughs> feeling well, you like your body is like, no, you're sick. Lay down now. <laughs> and it just fucks you up real bad. That's what happened when we got COVID. As a matter of fact, we got COVID the same day, uh, the same day DJ proposed to me. Shall we look inside? No. Uh, Sophie? Hey, that's the girl that was with him. You can't go in there. <sighs> Asbalant! I would really appreciate your hands if people off stop her. trying to kill me. The girl is meaningless. We've come for you, Asbalant. Who are you people? Stop. Stand aside, or we'll make this hard for you. I will protect him. Sophie, no! Who are these guys? What do they want? Asbel, are you hurt? I'll make it. But we need to get out of here. Let's head for the port. Let's head for the port. Slowly. Alrighty. I think that is me done for the night. That was fun. I really enjoy this game. I love it. Um, now, so I've been playing with some ideas as far as streaming goes. Well, let's go back to the waiting camera. I've been playing. A, I've been playing a little bit with some ideas about, uh, like, with streaming. And one thing I used to do when I streamed is I used to stream baking. Now, with the size of my kitchen, I can't do that anymore. So, uh, I don't know if we'll do stuff like Stardew Valley, uh, or anything like that. I really want to keep with narrative-focused games, because all, all, almost all of my stuff, all of my content is based off of analyzing and taking apart the narrative. However, however, um, I'm also down for doing just, like, working streams and stuff like that. I'm just messing with a few ideas, like I said. Um, but when we play games on this channel, it will probably really be focused on story-based games. Um, now this includes the entirety of the Tales series. I still plan on doing every Tales game from Tales of the Abyss to Tales of Arise. Um, 
something is wrong with the Tales of Symphonia remake. Uh, the, the Tales of Symphonia remaster, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't seem to work for a lot of people. Um, but when I do get that, we'll play it. Um, because I, out of all the Tales games I've played, I've never played Tales of Symphonia. So, um, but aside from the Tales games, I don't know how soon I'll be doing Persona. Um, I was asked about that last week, and I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Persona is a huge undertaking. Last time I streamed Persona, I had to stream eight hours at a time, and that shit is not... I'm old. Um, <laughs> I'm much older than I was back then, so... Uh, we'll, we'll see, but for now, we're focusing on Tales games, and like I said, we'll bring up Zelda games, uh, once I start on that, uh, Zelda video, and when I start on that Zelda lore video, I'm already working on it, because I've broken out the Hyrule Astoria that contradicts itself so many times, and I've broken out a lot of my old, uh, my old strategy guides, which are all narrative-based, they're all written in third-person narrative. Um, but yeah, that is, I think, me done for the night. I am gonna have some pasta, I think. So thank you all for watching. Stay weird, lovelies, and happy eating.